Hello and welcome back to the Litchfield Media YouTube channel. I'm your host, Melissa Litchfield, all things digital marketing, paid ads, course creation, you name it, we're chatting all about it on this channel. Today, we're covering the top 10 places where you should market your upcoming webinar and how to go about it. Okay, we're gonna dive right in because I don't have time to waste. <laughs> the first place that you should be marketing your upcoming webinar is on social media. I think that's the most obvious one, right? But I'm here to give you examples on how you can kind of switch it up a bit. So first option you could potentially do is go live, right? But I think where you can kick it up a notch is go live with somebody else. Somebody else who has an audience that complements your offer, right? Someone that doesn't have a direct competing offer, but has a similar audience that you would love to tap into and you can do that by having them on a live with you, right? You can chat, provide value, right, to their audience and then at the end of the live, you can drive people to click the link in your bio or DM you a certain word on Instagram and they'll get the link to the training. Okay, so some other ideas on social media because I have more ideas for you. We're not just stopping there. I would love for you to reach out to somebody in your niche, right? Somebody that has a audience that compliments yours, right? And see if they're open to doing either a story swap or a post swap, right? So this means that you would be creating the content or the story or several videos, right? So they can post it to their stories or share a post that you created, right? Graphic and caption. And that way they can post it to their feed, right? So that way you're basically tapping into other people's audiences. And this is just another way outside of Reels. So you can also do this with Reel. Like, well, you actually could do a collaborative Reel, which I think that would be an awesome idea. <laughs> And you can also collaborate on a feed post and you can also do something on stories, right? But this would have to be pre-recorded videos and you would kind of have to label it for them so they know exactly like which story video they should upload first to their stories. Are you ready to up level your ads right now with the proven custom audiences that you need to target in your next ad campaign? Well, look no further. I have a free resource for you, the proven pixel permit. Make sure you enter in your name and email address to snag this resource. It's filled with an ad checklist, numerous tutorials, and several lists of proven audiences for online coaches and online entrepreneurs, as well as service providers. So click the link below somewhere around this video and snag yours today. Okay, next up we have email. Of course, email marketing is super important in order to drive those webinar registrations, right? So of course, email marketing, right? But you do need some sort of traffic, whether that's organic or paid, to come to that email list in order to see more you know, webinar registrations. But don't hesitate to drive your existing list, your existing email list to that upcoming webinar. And you can always exclude people with a specific tag that has say already registered for the same webinar in the past okay third tip that i have for you for marketing your upcoming webinar is kind of out of the box actually i want you to put your webinar link especially if you're evergreen webinar i want you to put that webinar link in your email signature so wherever you're emailing you know on a one-to-one -one basis throughout the day it's always going to be in your email signature and they're always going to see it all right, next up on our list is the fourth place on where you can market your upcoming webinar. And this is on your website, right? So make sure you have some sort of pop-up or maybe in the top banner section of your website promoting your upcoming webinar or your evergreen webinar. This is gonna be a way for you to attract all that traffic coming to your website already and get them to take action and register for your upcoming webinar. All right, the fifth place you can market your upcoming webinar and your evergreen webinar is on your blog post, right? And I'm gonna say it again, don't hesitate to do a blog swap with somebody else who has an audience, especially a website audience, that complements your upcoming webinar. So don't forget about blog posts because then you can utilize SEO to drive organic search traffic to your webinar. Okay, the sixth, place where you can market your upcoming webinar is email. We already talked about email, but we didn't talk about doing a email list swap 
with somebody else. So I have actually done this before with a copywriter in the space. So this particular copywriter reached out to me and she asked if I would be willing to share her free resource with my community. Actually, she asked me to be included in the resource. So she, I believe she highlighted 21 thought leaders in the industry and put our name, a little bio, our title in this big document. And then we all pretty much shared it with all our audiences. So she had about 20 other people that she was showcasing inside of this sleep magnet and all of us shared it. So honestly, I thought that was a brilliant idea. So you should do the same. It's great for endless building too. So why not do it? Okay, seventh place where you can market your upcoming webinar is on podcasts. So I personally don't have a podcast and I have no plans, like zero plans on <laughs> launching a podcast anytime soon. I much rather prefer to be a guest on people's podcasts. This allows me to tap into their audience and direct them to a free resource or even a free training. So you can totally utilize this strategy to get more traffic clicking on your webinar registration page. All right, and eight up on the list is basically virtual summits. You may not think that this would be a great place to market your upcoming webinar, but it is definitely a great list building opportunity to get everyone that signed up for this virtual summit, right? And most summit hosts will allow you to offer something for free, right? It, it depends on the host. Some, some people don't allow others to pitch or pitch like a paid product, but you can definitely share a free you know, basically a lead magnet. So you want to get as many people opting into this lead magnet and then you can drive them to register for your webinar. So virtual summits are again, a great list building opportunity, but also great to drive traffic to your upcoming webinar. Okay, and number nine is kind of obvious because this is like my jam, paid ads. You can obviously market your webinar with paid ads. Of course, I don't recommend this if you're brand new to ads and don't know what you're doing. So please, please, please invest in a call or a training or an intensive with an expert that can guide you on the setup process, the optimization and scaling process as well. All right, next up on the list and our final place where you can market your upcoming webinar is affiliates and or referrals. So if you have a huge community that is gung-ho for you and anything that you create, they are a true following, right? You've built a community, your people love raving about you. Well, why not start an affiliate program and incentivize people for talking about or sharing your webinar, which would then ultimately take them to a sale. So your affiliates could have some sort of kickback, right? So that is another way that you could potentially market your upcoming webinar. Obviously, if you have any referrals or past clients that have a legitimate audience that they can share the offer with, even better. All right, so that wraps up this last video. Thanks so much for watching.